Hello, Maria, Jose, Jaime. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. So, hey, how was your day? I'm great. You sound tired, Maria. What? You sound tired. No, I feel it better. Ah, okay, okay, good. Today with more energy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, good, good. And Jose, how about you? How do you feel today, Jose? Oh, Jose is still connected in this moment. No problem, no problem. Mm -hmm. Jaime, tell me about you. How are you? You ready for today? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Oh, pues, oh, but uh, my day is uh, very busy. Um, busy. Very busy. Busy, very busy, okay. Mm -hmm. And the and the weather is very raining. Mm -hmm. uh, raining. And, and mm -hmm. raining in San Salvador. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's true. It's true. In downtown. I think mo many places in San Salvador, yes. In, in, yes. And actually they cancel classes in schools. In many schools in the afternoon. They went home early or they didn't go to class. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And host, Jaime, did you work in the afternoon? Yes, I, I work. I'm working. Uh, um, um, in, the, in, the, in the afternoon? Yeah, but I I take my my breakfast. Almuerzo, verdad? Breakfast. No, almuerzo no. no es breakfast. No, eh? how do we say almuerzo? Lunch. Maria. Lunch. Correct. Lunch. Lunch. Yes, in the afternoon. <laughs> I take my lunch. Okay. Sure. Remember in English. Is not the expression take, is had, had breakfast, had lunch, or had dinner. Uh, good, good. Okay. Excellent. Well, I am so happy that I we have many people already connected. Yesterday, we learned a little bit about conditionals. Today, we're going to have the opportunity to review and to practice. But first, I want you to tell me what do you remember are the conditionals? Yesterday we saw number one, first conditional. Remember we practice, I have the link for the grammar. Do you remember? As child? Mm -hmm. Well, go ahead, Maria, tell me, give, or give me an example. What do you remember were the conditionals? Okay. I, shall, I, I shall use to find strip. No, not the not the conditional. Anybody else remember the conditional? Um, me. Go ahead, Jose. Uh, they uh, begin in. They begin in, in this begin with if. Mm -hmm. with and this this have main clause. Independence clause. Okay, excellent, excellent. Good that you remembered. I think maybe it's necessary we watch the video again just to the class. So together we remember what is the conditionals. This is 4.10. 
only we're going to watch the video a little bit so that we remember before we practice. Hi, we're about to study conditional sentences. A conditional sentence is formed by a possible situation and a consequence. Pay attention to the audio program for more explanation. Conditional sentences with if clauses. Possible situation plus simple present. If you get a high paying job. Consequence plus future with will, may, or might. You won't have to work as hard. If you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If you don't have to work as hard, you'll have a lot more free time. If you have a lot more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. The first conditional is a structured used for talking about possibilities in the present or the future. We will explain you how this conditional is formed and when it is used. When we talk about this conditional, which is called first conditional, by the way, we will divide it in two parts, if clause and main clause. In conditional, we use the word if. So we say, if I study, I will pass my exam. Follow me in the structure. If clause, if plus subject plus verb in simple present. Main clause, subject plus will plus verb. Let's work on more examples. If you save money, you will go on a trip. If she speaks English, she will have a better job. If we exercise, we will be healthy. All of these examples show a possibility of what might happen if. I will give you some possible situations. Try to give me your consequence using the structure learned. Don't forget to write them on our discussion box. If you study English, if you lose your job, if you have children, don't forget to write your consequence using the future will, may, or might. Okay. Do we remember a little bit more now? So, so? Yes. The if, and how do we answer? Only if? And the other part? How is the verb? Present, past, or future? Future. Future, exactly, future. So in this moment, we have a link in the chat. The link in the chat is to help us to create the questions with our partners. We're going to practice the first. In the link, the link is for first, second, and third conditionals. But today only we're going to practice asking and answering the first conditional, okay? So right now, the link, we're going to practice the first conditional. Yes? Yes. All right, excellent. We're gonna have about, uh, we're just going to practice for 10 minutes. The idea is five minutes, five minutes. Give the answers, give the details. Remember, if, answer the questions. For example, if I have, I will, uh, if I could, always we're going to practice using the same grammar from the video. Remember the same structure. Okay, talk about the possibilities. Okay. All right, if you want, you can also share screens. It's no problem, the screens are available. Let me put the time. Okay, let's go with our partners. Thank you. 
You okay, Carla? Okay, any questions? The first conditional, how to use with if? That one, teacher. It's okay? Yeah, I'll clear. All right, let's practice together then. Jose Arturo, number one. What is the correct conditional? Uh, if you eat less junk food, um, you might you might feel healthier. Okay, okay, you might feel healthier. Number two, number two, Noe. 
first two is um, what will you do it? It is rain oh, no. tomorrow. If you walk to work. Ah, okay. Uh, no, number two, teacher. Yes, number two. Do, do you see the, the screen? Okay. Number two, sería. Did you work for every day? And sería, you my feel healthy. Num this, you might feel healthier. Yes. The same number one. Oh, uh, no, 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 no puede ser. It's okay, don't worry, don't worry, Onoe. Jaime. No, no, Jaime. Ahorita, ahorita, ahorita le digo. Eh, <laughs> no, no, no puedo repetir. Your stay in chat we had joined me a gym. Ah, okay, okay, maybe better, it's better, yes. okay. Uh -huh. Good. Oh, well then, Jaime, do number three. Jaime Hernandez. Mm -hmm. Please repeat, Jaime. Okay, hey, it's... Um... Uh, uh, is you won't be able to stay away in class, teacher. Okay, all right. Number four, Carla. And number four is you might feel healthier. The same number one. No, for number four. For number if you four. exercise, you might feel healthier. Okay, all right. Good. Aisa, what's number five? Okay, if you don't get married, um, you may lose weight. Okay, you may lose weight. Married for losing weight. No, you have more money. For you, what do you think? More, more money. Okay. More yes. money. Okay, let's check. Maybe. Let's take a look. Ah, number five. Correct. You'll have more money to spend on yourself. Number four is correct. You'll feel healthier. Number three, you won't be able to stay awake in class. Wonderful. Number two, you'll stay in shape without joining the gym. And number one, ah, you may lose weight. If you eat less hamburgers, pizza, hot dogs, you may lose weight. But it's okay, the idea, logic for you might feel healthier also, but is number one is lose the weight. Any questions? No question, I'll no, no, question teacher. no questions? Excellent, excellent. Now we're gonna practice a little bit about reading. Here is our reading. Walter, can you please read the objective? What are we going to learn in this class? Okay, no Walter, no Walter. Okay, no problem, no problem. Sorry, teacher, no, ah, I don't listen. No problem, Walter, go no ahead. Problem with it. With my computer. Mm -hmm. Repeat, please. Walter, please read the objective. Okay. In this class, you will read an article about falling in love. As you read, you develop skills in reading for a specific information. Okay. So right now, the idea is a little bit about reading. Um, here, we have the article for reading. And then the idea, are you in love? So the first question is, okay. So tell me, 
What is love? What do you understand is love? Um, love uh, is um, the way to relationship. Okay. Mm -hmm. The way to relationship. Go ahead, go ahead, continue. And... Mm. Um, is a feeling. Okay. And sure. can be in with the parents, um, with friends, and and wife. All right. Interesting. Interesting. Very good. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to have a small discussion in the chat. You can see that we have the link for many questions. The questions are, is your idea, is your opinion? Like our partner gave his opinion, not right, not wrong. Is your opinion. What is love? What are the things there in the chat? You see, we have the link to many questions, right? all the questions about love, okay? We're going to answer the questions with our partner only about six minutes, not a long time, only six minutes, and then we're going to read. But first, we're going to think about those questions. Let me make the time in the groups. Okay. There. Let's go with our partners, six minutes. Thank you. 
After what you have read, can you tell us Okay, any questions in the vocabulary or any questions you didn't understand from the link? No, the vocabulary was okay. The um, questions were okay. Um, I would like to know what is fallout of love? Oh. Alba. Excellent, Carla. Very good. Any other questions or words or expressions? No. Okay, good. Very nice then, in that case, let's go to our last activity for unit four, section four. The last activity for section four is a small reading. Here, we're going to read together to make sure we have the correct vocabulary, pronunciation, make sure everything is okay. All right, who is going to begin reading? Um, me. Okay, Jose, please read the first paragraph. And then we take turns for other people, other volunteers that want to read. Okay. Um, you think you're falling in love? You're really attracted to a certain person? But this has happened before. And it wasn't just 
are crushed. How can you tell if it is real this time? Here's, here's what our readers said. All right, good pronunciation. Only we need to work a little bit more on the fluency, but good pronunciation. All right, who's next? Me, teacher. Okay, Aisa. If you're falling, falling in love, you'll feel your, yourself talking to our telephone, the person for no reason. You might pretend there's a reason, but often there's not. Okay, thank you, Aisa. Good job also, just a little bit more on the fluency, good. Who's next? Me, Me Okay. Uh, Go ahead, Carla. Okay. Okay. You'll find yourself bringing this person to every conversation. When I was in Mexico, I friend begins to interrupt with my boyfriend made a great Mexican dinner the last week. Good, Carla. Only the pronunciation interrupt. Interrupt. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. The next one. Me, teacher. Okay, Hamid. Hey, you might suddenly be interested in things you used to avoid. When a woman asked ask me to tell her all about football, I know she's falling in love, say a TV sport announcer. Okay, great. Here we have the next paragraph is a little bit long it's from okay to life who's going to read don't be scared it's okay ah everybody wants to improve the english and nobody wants to work what happened what happened okay uh, me teacher all right no Okay, so you falling in love, but falling in love is one thing and staying in love is another. How can you tell, has time passed, that you're still in love? If you stay in love, your relationship will change. You might not talk how much about the person you are in love with. You might not call him, or her so often, but this person will never helpless become more and more important in your life. Good, very good. Only one pronunciation, and that was the word nevertheless. 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 Good, good. And who's going to read the last paragraph? Integer. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, you find that you can be yourself with this person when you first fell in love. You were probably afraid to admit certain things about yourself, but now, but now you can be totally honest. You can trust Jean or her to. I said, you just as you are. Feeling in love is great. Stay, staying in love is even better. Okay, thank you so much. Are there any words or expressions we don't know how to pronounce or the meaning? Um... Nevertheless. Nevertheless. Mm. It's a good expression. It is here, we can see in almost in the last, this person will nevertheless become more and more important in your life. Uh, this is like, it's a little bit different because the pronounce, the, the meaning changes, but it would be more like, it doesn't matter, okay? I don't have money. 
Nevertheless, I'm going to go out with my friends. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other words or expressions? Or phrases? A teacher, uh, what's the meaning of uh, avoid? Avoid is the opposite of get. When you want something, you get it. When you don't want it, you avoid it. Many people avoid COVID. They try to stay away. Bye-bye. No, this is avoid. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay, Hammond? All right, any other words or expressions, phrases? Teacher, Teacher um, I can't remember uh, the meaning of suddenly. Uh, suddenly is no planning in the moment. Ah. Suddenly, we have an earthquake. Today, suddenly, they canceled classes. This is suddenly. Is no planning. Is in the moment. Oh. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Teacher. Yes. Uh, what is the meaning the two words? Probably a friend to admit. Afraid is scared. Scared to admit is scared to accept. You're probably afraid to admit. You're probably afraid to accept. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else? Okay, in that case, Let's watch a small video about this. Hang on. Here in our video, right here, falling in love. Can you tell us which one is more difficult for you? Falling in love or staying in love? After what you have read, can you tell us which one is more difficult for you? Falling in love or staying in love? Share your opinion on our discussion box. Oh, so now we are going to go to the discussion box. What is the discussion box? It's in the, in the same section. Here, 4.13, the discussion box is on the bottom. Here, uh, we click add a post, okay? And then let me put the title. Uh, so the idea is, what is more in uh, more difficult, falling in love or staying in love? You're going to put your answer. And then you're going to explain why. It's okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. Yes? Okay. Now, you need to put, I, so that we have the idea, that way not one sentence, two sentences. You need to write, the answer is necessary 50 words. What is more difficult and why? Yes? Okay, we take a few moments. You can have some ideas with your partner. Only, you, only we're going to have eight minutes to complete. But if you want, you talk with your partner and get an idea and then you write the consensus.
Okay. I checked, but I didn't see the the writing. Did you finish? Everybody finish the writing. Uh, teacher, uh, we are talking about about topic, but no right in the platform. Okay. So remember the idea you need to write 50 words, 50 words mm -hmm. in the writing. Mm -hmm. So let me show you one more time. It's okay. No, we can do it in a little bit right here. So 4.13, the reading, the video we did in here in the discussion, you're going to put add post. Okay. And then you can put your, my opinion, your title, whatever, the 50 words, and then click submit. Yes. Question, so, so not clear. It's clear. All clear. It's clear. Uh, uh, falling low, I say low. This com this comparison season. Mm -hmm. It is two breaks. Uh, falling falling low is you know your par uh, your partner and stay low. Uh, uh, we. Knows all partners. Uh, there are more because you know more. Okay, so for you, is more difficult falling in love or is more difficult staying in love? It's more difficult is falling in love. Falling in yeah. love. Yes, it's most easy. It's more easy. It's very low. Good. Pre comparative, it's easier. It's easier. Yes. Okay. What do you think? What do you think? Someone else, the other opinion, do you think is easy, is difficult, is the same? What is your opinion? Uh, teacher, I. I'm agree with with Jane mm -hmm. because um, falling in love is it's having changed uh, the couple um, have different many to to think and and see the the things and two people need more time to know um to know more about the couple And likes and dislike. Okay. Have you ever been in, in love, Jose? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I was in this war. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> and tell us what um, happened. I guess to to is to try every day to be a better person. And try to to give the better in the relationships. Okay. Do you 
what do you guys think? It's easy to maintain the relationship or is difficult or is easy to start the relationship? Um, both. Both easy, no problem. Yes. Both okay. easy. Okay, okay. Well, this is the idea that you need to put into the writing. The writing, like Jose explained, like no, you need to express in words, but in writing. Put in 50 words. Remember, today we are finished this last writing activity we finish unit four tomorrow we put unit five okay, okay. so tomorrow we start with the last part unit five we have class is friday but because last week we had cancel we canceled the class this week we are going to have class tomorrow okay okay all right, guys. Thank you so much for connecting. Thank you, Thank you for coming. Thank Tomorrow you. we go with everything. Thank you, teacher. I see you Thank tomorrow. you, teacher. Have a good night. Have a good, good night. night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you Bye. tomorrow. Mm -hmm.